I'm doing good. I'm having a little bit of like a, I have some stinging, but not in a bad way. I wore a coat to my shows. Was not the plan originally. I wore it this morning. There's definitely toothpaste on it somewhere. And I've decided to keep it on for the rest of the day. Do you like it? It's fall fashion, huh? I am not gonna subject myself to freezing my titties off every single day on these studio sets. I'm not doing it. So now I am this person. Ladies who lunch at work. Let's do a get real. Tori says, will you be revealing baby number two's gender? Can't wait to hear the name. I don't think we have any plans to reveal the gender. I think we're just gonna let things be until baby comes out. Here's some scoop. We've been having a very difficult time with names. Ro came to me very early on in my pregnancy and it was very much like, what about Ro? And that was it. Send me good names. If you guys have good name suggestions, send me names because we've been trying and it's been very hard. Amy Fuentes says, hi Morgan. I just wanted to say I love you and thank you for always making me laugh. I could watch you for hours. Question, what is your ultimate cheat meal? My ultimate cheat meal I think is probably, I guess it's a 10 piece chicken nugget side of sweet and sour and fries and a Coke. Oh, the Coke, when it's just burns your mouth a little bit. God, there's nothing better. I don't care if the fries are four days old. I could always have it. I would also really like to source a raspberry tart that's delicious. I'm talking raspberry, I'm talking custard, and I'm talking just a crispy shell around. I don't want it to be Hostess cupcake. You know, that? what is it when it's like sti smushy, sticky? What is it, you know what I mean? I don't want that. But I'm a big fruit dessert person. Do you know that about me? Yes. Yes, you do. I like chocolate and raspberries, but like I don't want to do a chocolate cake. I need something to break it up, but I don't want a tres leches. Uh, 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 uh. No, no, not for me. You know what I don't want on my fruit tart? You guys ready? Everyone's riveted. Orange. Why the f are you putting a f orange? And it's always wet, like it's been soaked in lube. I don't want to suck a luby orange. I don't want a luby orange in my mouth. Do you? What are they putting on these tarts? Lily Simon says, would you rather have Phoebe Philo design a dress for you to the Met Gala, to wear to the Met Gala, or have the Olsen twins? Phoebe Philo. I love me some row. Love it. Want to wear it in the day. Want to wear it to my lunch. Want to wear it to dinner. It's not my going out aesthetic. I'm not cool enough to pretend to not care enough. I just can't do it. Phoebe is fashion visionary and I would definitely stick to her. Words written by me. What are you what are you looking forward to the most in terms of becoming a mom of two kids? I'm really looking forward to feeling like our house is even and fulfilled. And I'm looking forward to, I guess, meeting this other person and seeing, I mean, it's nuts. That's insane. I really just got extra credit, huh? Just did it all, banged it out. Oh my God, Tori says, any advice for a newly pregnant mama? Help me with managing nausea, please. Oh my God, I feel for you, girl. I was so sick with Ro, it was insane. To be honest, you just have to grin and bear it. Lots of Gatorade, lots of water, and just honestly throw up as much as you possibly can. Don't fight it. Jacinta Cody says, I love your quick wit humor. Do you tone it down in front of Dr. Phil and Robin? I do not tone it down, but I definitely limit it. Is that the same thing? It's more like I, I'm actually the exact same, but I think I'm more aware of what I'm saying, not in a way that I censor myself, but like more like, oh, is this gonna, you know, because Phil is very quiet in real life. He chats, but he's definitely an intimidating figure, but like the nicest person in the world. Robin is hilarious, so I go all day with her and just chirp, chirp, chirp. We're like two birds. Just chirp, chirp, oh my God, oh my God. No, I don't think I tone it down. I think I probably still have that feeling of like, these are my husband's parents, it's a little nerve wracking. Feels an internal laugher, I think. Like he's listening and laughing inside. I made him laugh at Thanksgiving, it was like one of my, he goes, do you go on Scholastic Google? I said, Phil, let me answer that question for you. Do you think I go on Scholastic Google like you. <laughs> no, I'm not reading a book a week or a day. And he chuckled at that and I, it was a big accomplishment for me. He goes, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And then they were talking about like all this different stuff and my dad's like, is that guy a scientist? I'm like, can everyone stop talking? If you missed our episode all about Kim K last week, make sure you check that out. And for more Necessary Realness, make sure you subscribe.